Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. In this video, I'll be showing you step-by-step -step how to add pages to your Shopify store. I'll be walking you through how to add pages. I'll show you how to add those page links on your main menu and your footer menu. Then I'll be recommending a few different pages that you can add to your Shopify store. And then I'll be showing you how you can lay out and design your all collections page. Without further ado, let's get straight into this video. To get started, I'm first gonna show you how to add a page to your Shopify store. Then I'll be showing you how to link that page here on the main menu of your website and also at the very bottom of your website on the footer menu section. All right, once you open Shopify, you're gonna click pages. And this is where you'll be able to go and add new pages to your Shopify store. If you also have a blog on Shopify, when you click blog post, this is where you can add new blog posts and you can also add new blogs to your store. So here in pages, I'm gonna click add page. And you'll be able to type in the page title and you can also type in a page description or you can insert some content such as text and images to appear on the page. I'll be titling this about us to represent the about us page. Then I'm going to click save. Then you're going to click online store and this is where you can go in and customize your currently published theme. Here inside your theme, I'll be clicking this section that says home page. Then I'm going to click pages and click create template. I'll be naming this the about us template. Then I'm going to click create template. You're going to click this arrow to exit your website, then click Pages. I'll be opening that new About Us page. And here where it says Online Store, right under Theme Template, this is where you can apply that new About Us template. Then when you go to open your website again, this is where you can choose to open that new About Us page. And this is where you can begin at customizing this page. You have the option to click Add Section to Template. And this is where you can begin adding sections to this page to fill it with content. Next, I'll be showing you how to feature your new page on the main menu and also on the footer menu of your website. I'll show you how to customize the display of those page links on your menus. And I'll also show you how to add sections throughout the homepage of your website to feature those pages and those page links. By the way, if you are interested in this website I'm showing, this is one of my Shopify theme templates. I have a variety of Shopify theme templates designed for many types of businesses. These will help to give your business that professional look and layout without you having to spend a ton of time creating your website from scratch. If you're not too familiar with Shopify templates, after your order, you're going to receive the theme in a zip file format. And here on Shopify, you'll have the option to install that theme zip file straight into your store. You'll be able to publish it and edit it to fit your business. I have Shopify themes for skincare and beauty businesses. And I also have some for clothing and dropshipping businesses. There is a step-by-step -step installation guide included to walk you through how to install the Shopify theme into your store. And most of my themes are template bundles that also include logo templates, brand kit templates, and more. I will link this Shopify theme template in the description box below, along with where you can go shop my other Shopify themes. Then when you exit your website and click blog posts, you can choose to repeat that step with your blog posts or your blog. However, with most blog posts, you can just insert your blog post content here under content so that you won't have to create a new template with every blog post you create. Next, I'll be showing you how to feature those pages here on your main menu and your footer menu. Here on Shopify, you're gonna click navigation. Then I'll be opening this main menu. You also have the option to create a new menu. So I'm gonna click add menu item. And here you're gonna have a dropdown of different pages that you can add to feature on this menu. I like to start off with featuring a homepage link. You can also insert a link for this search bar page. And a very important link you're gonna wanna add would be to either feature your all collections page or to feature individual collections within your store. For an example, if you sell dresses, shoes, and accessories, you can choose to feature each one of those collections here on your main menu. And this can help to make it easier for your customers to sort through those collections since they'll be featured right here on the main menu. You can also choose to add a link to specific products. So if you do have a new arrival or a best-selling product, you can feature it on your main menu. Then when you click pages, this is where you can choose to feature that new page that you just added. You can add a link to one or multiple blogs that you've created within your store and you can add links to specific blog posts. I'd recommend adding links to your store's policy pages. Then you can add a link to your contact page. When you click this icon next to the links, you'll be able to reposition any of these menu links. And you can also choose to create drop-down links on your main menu. So currently I've added quite a few links to this menu. So to simplify this just a little bit, I'll be creating a drop-down for these featured collections. I'm gonna click add menu item. And here I'll be adding a link to the all collections page. I'm gonna position this right beneath the home menu link. Then I'll be dragging these collection links and I'm gonna feature them as sublinks under that all categories link. And that's gonna have it create a dropdown on your main menu. Next, you're gonna save this menu. You're gonna click online store, then click customize to open your website. Here, you're gonna click on your header. Then I'm gonna click change and I'll be applying that new menu. You'll see a dropdown for the collections has been created. And then there's a link to that new about us page. You can choose to repeat those steps with the footer menu. 
And here in your website, you're going to scroll to the very bottom. And here, right under footer, you're going to click add block. And this is where you can add a link to that new footer menu. To customize that footer bar of your website, here under this footer menu, you can choose to click add block. And here are some options of some other blocks that you can insert for this section. I'll be inserting an image block. And this is where you can add your logo to the footer menu. Next, I'll be clicking add block again, and this is where I'm going to be adding a text block. This is where you can choose to add a mini brand description. When you click on the footer bar directly, you have a few other editing options for this section. And then for the main menu on the header of your website, when you click on the header under desktop logo position is where you can choose to kind of reposition the menu and logo display. You'll see here I've set it to the top center, and it's going to display those menu links right underneath your logo. Under desktop menu type is where you can edit the display of your menu. Here I'm going to apply the drawer menu and you'll notice that this will give your site a more minimal look. It's going to hide away your menu and while customers click these three lines, it'll show the drop down for your menu. Next for a few different ideas of how you can incorporate featuring your new pages throughout the homepage of your website, I'll first be showing you a quick way that you can feature your about us page link. So here on the homepage, I have added a few sections to talk a little bit more about the brand. One of the sections you can add would be an image with text. To do that here, I'm just going to click add section and here I'll just be inserting an image with text. Here you have a few different customization options for this section of your website, but this is where you can give a little brief overview of your brand or insert a snippet of your about us text. And here when you click on this button label, this is where you can choose to insert a link leading to that new about us page. And that's a way you can add a section to your homepage to feature that new about us page. Next, if you've created a custom all collections page, or if you're using Shopify's default collections page, a way that you can feature your collections page on your homepage would be to add a collection list on your homepage just to feature some of your product collections. Then you can add a view all button link to take customers to your all collections page. A quick beginner friendly way that you can do this would be to click add section and insert a collection list. You can choose to retitle the heading for this section you can also adjust the number of columns on desktop to show more or less collections. You want to enable the view all button so that when customers click the view all button, it will take them to your collections page. And when you click on a collection, it'll give you the option to select which collections you would like to feature. Next for a few ideas of a few different pages that you can add to your website. You can choose to add an about us page or a how we began page. You can add an FAQs page to help to answer your visitors frequently asked questions. You can also add a bookings page for if you provide services. And if you sell a variety of different products, you'll definitely want to add or customize your all collections page. I'll be showing you how to create a new categories page and how to customize it to best display if you're selling a wide variety of products. To create your own all categories page, I'll be repeating the steps that I showed you at the beginning of the video. I'm gonna click pages and add a new page. I've just created a page template, so I'm gonna add that to the new page. Then you're gonna to click to open that new all categories page. And this is where we can begin customizing this page. Here I'm gonna click add section and I'll be inserting a collection list. I'm gonna scroll up and you're gonna click on this page title and I'll be hiding that section. I'm gonna click on the collection list and here you can title the heading and I'd recommend titling this whichever category of collections you are featuring. For an example, let's say your store sells three different types of dresses, daytime, evening, and event dresses. This will help you to create one specific row on your collections page that's dedicated towards featuring those dress collections. But don't forget here you can increase the number of columns on desktop. Then you can click on one of these collections and duplicate it. When you click on the mobile view, it will show each collection one by one. I recommend here under mobile layout, you can choose to set this to display two columns on mobile and you can apply the swipe on mobile. Next, I'm going to click these three dots and duplicate this section. You can title this for another category of products that you sell in your store. So for example, if your store sells four different types of shoes, this will help to create another section to help organize and display all of your shoe collections. And that's going to be a quick way that you can organize the layout and display of your all categories page. 
I hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget if you are interested in this Shopify template, I will have this link in my description box below. And I also have a wide variety of other types of Shopify templates designed for clothing, apparel, beauty, and many other types of businesses. If you're not too familiar with Shopify theme templates, after your order, you're gonna receive it in a theme zip file format. And here on Shopify, you'll have the option to install that theme zip file straight into your store. You'll be able to edit the section and you'll be able to add your pictures and products. Most of my Shopify themes are template bundles, so they do include other templates like logo templates, web banner templates, and more. Those will be linked in my description box below. And if in general you're not too familiar with Shopify, I do have a Shopify basics guide. This is a guide I've put together that includes a lot of info for if you're a beginner with Shopify. The guide covers things like how to read your analytics page, how to set up your shipping policies, and more. In this guide, I've included screenshots, video tutorials, and written text explainers to help you understand each section of the guide. I will link that in my description box below as well. Thank you all so much for watching.